The bombs in Gaza may have fallen silent for now, but around the world, calls for a permanent end to the violence continue to grow louder. Organisers estimated at least 300,000 marched through central London on Saturday in what marks the seventh straight week of demonstrations in the UK supporting Palestinians. Their demands throughout that time have remained the same, a permanent end to the crisis in Gaza, not just a pause. Week after week, pro-Palestinian protests have paralysed the streets of western cities. While their demands for a permanent ceasefire still haven't been met, there is a growing belief here that their voice is one that's being heard. There is no doubt Israel did not want to agree to this uh, temporary pause. Uh, the deal it finally accepted was put on the table two or three weeks ago. It didn't want to accept it. Why has it accepted it? It's accepted it because it has been put under some pressure uh, by governments, international governments, particularly uh, Western governments. But why are they doing that? They're doing that because uh, mm -hmm. uh, across the piece, here in the UK, but also elsewhere, people are making clear that their governments are not representing their views. Similar action was seen on Saturday elsewhere in Europe. In Frankfurt, the number of marches was smaller, but no less vocal. There, as in London, people said something more needs to change, now and in the longer term. It's important to come out because we shout free Palestine and I think we all believe that that isn't a statement but it's a promise that we have to follow through on. It's important that we continue to come out here um, in as large a number as, as possible to communicate that message that you know we do not support the decisions that they're making. While some at these marches might feel their message is falling on deaf ears, organisers instead say the scale and nature of demonstrations continues to show how popular action can influence government policy. Over 70% of the people in the UK want a ceasefire, as do nearly 70% of the people in the United States. So that manifested through popular demonstrations of huge numbers of people is having an impact, but that's why we need to keep the pressure up and we need to ramp up the pressure. Whether or not governments are listening to their people without a permanent ceasefire, the images of hundreds of thousands protesting for Palestine in Western capitals looks likely to continue. John Flynn, TRT World in London.